It is now three days going forward since the government shut down Kenya's mainstream media in the wake of the controversial inauguration of the opposition leader Raila Odinga as the people's president. Activists across the social divide have come out strongly to condemn the action. Speaking in a media forum, the director KHRC, George Kegoro, blamed the government of not only denying Kenyans their constitutional right to information, but also for defying a court order to lift the imposed media shutdown. Editors are now facing the threat of a, of a bitter arrest for simply doing their job and for continuing to do it despite enormous pressure. Providing the public with information is being made a crime. Will you, the people, allow this to happen to our country? In the wake of all this, we, the people group, has enlisted a spectrum of issues which they say present the Jubilee administration as a tyrannical government. We have seen the appointment of a cabinet that disregards the gender rule required by the Constitution and reaffirmed by the courts. The president has also established a new office the chief administrative secretaries within the cabinet. That is not recognized in the constitution's definition of the cabinet. There are attempts to shield appointees from vetting. There are also appointments to the National Police Service that fail to comply with the requirements of public participation. Institutions like the National Police Service Commission are meant to be safeguards and sources of public oversight, but are fast becoming rubber stamps for arbitrary repressive actions. Kegoro also fearlessly stated that ethnic mafias are mobilizing their communities to rise against members of different communities not of their own. Uh, especially in uh, a number of informal settlements that uh, communities are organizing along uh, ethnic lines for self-defense and for attack as well. And that is why we've included the statement about uh, people organizing or being organized uh, to respond uh, violently or to uh, take self-defense measures. However, the contingent of activists commended the government for not engaging the public during the swearing-in of their beloved leader, Raila Odinga. The gathering of thousands of people from all over the country on Tuesday, January 30th, 2018, was historically and overwhelmingly peaceful. It proved that given the chance, Kenyans express their hopes and desires for their beloved country peacefully.